What can you tell us about the alien interview we're about to see? This one is rather recent, very late in the series. The interview process has been ongoing since the being arrived, which was in 1989. Approximately twice a month, they sit it down for a session that generally lasts from three to five hours. If they try to go longer than that, or if they schedule the sessions more frequently, the being becomes unresponsive. There's a fair amount of infighting among the scientists from different disciplines to get their questions asked. What has the alien revealed? Various minor technical details of the saucers. The physicists and engineers are frankly frustrated. They feel the being is withholding information. Possibly concepts are getting lost because all the information has to come through a telepath. But also it may be that the bulk of their scientific knowledge is just too advanced to be translated into our primitive conceptual framework. It's analogous to if a human scientist were to try to translate quantum mechanics into the grunts and screeches of a chimpanzee. That's not a very flattering comparison. Frankly, there's a high attrition rate for scientists in the program. You'd think they'd be energized by the challenge. But a lot of them take uh, the ego deflation very hard when they find out not only how much they don't know, but how much they aren't even capable of understanding. What else has the alien communicated? Oddly enough, the being seems to have a much easier time communicating spiritual concepts. The, the human body is a vehicle, a, a vessel. And the vessel must be maintained to serve the, the spirit. with maximum efficiency. But a broken vessel can be replaced. The human spirit or the soul can have many vessels. Is the process natural or technological? Both are, uh, both are one. Technology is a natural excrescence of humanity. Technology is a, is, is a process the vessel uses to perfect itself. So this transference of the soul from vessel to vessel, did your kind create the mechanics of it or is it a, a natural... Did it predate the intellectual creation for understanding must come acceptance. And it's not technological. Well, I think what he's trying to say is that the, the question is meaningless. The soul can travel from vessel to vessel. Uh, reincarnation, transfiguration, whatever. It's real. What I'm getting at is, does he know how it's done?